In this tutorial, we are going to talk about Young's modulus. So, what is Young's modulus? Okay, so Young's modulus is just basically the stress divided by the strain. Now, we need to understand what stress is and what strain is. Okay, so let's start with stress. Let's talk about stress. Stress is the force divided by the area. At the same time, we know that the force, its SI unit is Newton. The area, its unit is in, uh, square meter. So we can say that the SI unit for stress is Newton per square meter. Okay. Now from here, we also know that pressure is the force divided by the area. So pressure and the stress, they are giving us the same formula. So we can say that pressure and stress, they are the same thing. Okay? Whenever we are talking about pressure, we are talking about stress. Okay? And we know that uh, 1 Newton per square meter is 1 Pascal. So pressure, its SI unit is Pascals. Then stress, its, its SI unit is what? It's Newton per meter square. Or you can say it's Pascals. It's the same thing. Okay. Now from here let's also talk about um, let's talk about stress strain. Now strain is just basically uh, the ratio between the change in length divided by the original length. So let's say we have a wire. For example, here we have a tendon, and then the original one. Let's say here is our original wire. So this original one, we are going to call it L from here, or oh, let's do this, from here all the way to this point, let's call it L initial. And then let's have another one, we say that you stretch it all the way to this point. Okay, so we are going to have another one which is going to be... Uh, the L final. Now, the distance from the L initial all the way to the L final, that is what we call the change in length. So change in length is given by L final minus L initial. Okay, so stress, we are saying that strain is just basically the change in length divided by what? The length uh, original. So if this is the case, we can say that the Young's modulus, which is represented by the symbol Y, in some books, Young's modulus is represented by symbol E, and in some other books, it's represented by E, or y, uh, YM, Young's modulus. But in this case, we are going to be representing young, Young's modulus by Y. Okay, so we are saying that stress is force divided by area, then strain is the change in length divided by L initial. Okay, now we know that what we have here is the same as the force divided by the area. Then we have everything divided by the change in length. Change in length divided by, okay, divided by what? L initial. So this is the same as times L initial divided by the change in L. So this is going to give us this, everything divided by the area times change in length. Meaning that Young's modulus now is going to give us this. So Young's modulus is going to be equal to the force times the L initial, everything divided by area times change in length. Now, from this formula here, you can calculate anything. If you have been given the Young's modulus, they want you to find the force, you make F as a subject of formula. If they want you to find the L initial, they want you to find the change in L, they want you to find the area, you can use this formula. Now, we have a question which is saying a 15 centimeter long tendon was, uh, was found to stretch 3.7 millimeters by a force of 13.4 newton. 
The tendon was approximately found with an, an average diameter of 8.5 millimeters. Calculate the Young's modulus of this tendon. Now what we have to do is we can first gather our data. Now we have the force, we have been told that the force is 13.4 Newton and we have the L initial. The L initial is 15 centimeters but we have to convert 15 centimeters into meters. It's going to be 15 divided by 100 which is going to be which is going to be uh, 0 0.15. So we have 0 0.15 meters. What else? We have the area. And we know that a tendon, this is going to be our tendon. Okay? So it's more like a cylinder. So the area of the tendon is going to be pi r squared. So I'm going to replace this with pi r squared. And I know that this pi then the R is, um, this is the diameter, okay? We have been told that this is the diameter. To find the radius, what we have to do is we divide 2, the diameter we divide it by 2, that will be the radius. So if I get 8.5 divided by 2, I'm going to get the radius as 4.25 centimeters or millimeters, okay? Now, to convert millimeters into meters, we need to divide it by a thousand. So I'm going to say that 4.25 divided by what? A 1000, which is going to be 0 0.00425, uh, then we square it, okay? So now what I'm going to, to do now is, if I want, I can simplify this and find the final answer. So this squared, then times what? Times pi. Okay, so I'm going to put in scientific notation, which is going to give me uh, 5.675 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 meter squared. That is my area. Now, I also need to find the change in L. Now, the change in L we have been told that it will, a 15 centimeters long tendon was found to stretch, meaning this is our change in L. Okay, that is our change in L. So that change in L, we need to divide it by what a 1,000. So 3.7 divided by a thousand, we are getting uh, 3.7 times 10 raised to the power negative three. Okay. That is now in meters. Now we can go ahead and plug in the values. So we have the Young's modulus, the force is 13.4 times the L initial is a 0 0.15. Everything divided by, we have the area which is 5.675 times 10, times 10 raised to the power 5 times 3.7 times 10 raised to the power 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the top part. So we're going to have the Young's modulus. The top part is 13.4 times 0 0.15. And this is giving me 2.01. I'm going to divide this by, I have 5.6, uh, 6, 6, then I have exponent negative 5 times 3.7 exponent negative 3. So this is giving me 2.0999 uh, times is 9975, but I've just rounded it off. Or if we want to find the accurate answer, let's not round it off. So we have 75 times 10 raised to the power 7. Now let's find the Young's modulus. So what we're going to have now is, I can get rid of this. We're going to find that this is going to give us, the Young's modulus is going to be, we have 2.01, everything divided by 2.09975 exponent negative 7. 
so this is giving me 9.5 uh, 725 then we have we have 6 8 times 10 raised to the power 6 newton meter squared the reason why we are saying that it's going to be newton meter squared I'm going to explain but we can round it off the question is is having one decimal price so the answer is supposed to be in one decimal price as well so it's going to be Young's modulus it's going to be equal 9.6 times 10 raised to the power 6 newton per meter squared so this is the answer okay now the SI unit for Young's the units for Young's modulus is newton per square meter just because we know that this is in meters this is in meters so they are going to cancel but this is newton this is the square meter so it's going to be newton per square meter okay so this is what we need to know under Young's modulus